All right, I'm going to jump straight into today's question from our buddy Imogen. She says, hey, I've been enjoying your new website and emails. Thank you. They're very interesting and helpful. I'm wondering if you can help me with something specific. I've not yet had a lucid dream, and I've not been able to try the wake back to bed strategy because I'm afraid I'll be tired the next day. <coughs> Excuse me. Will this affect my ability to lucid dream? She says she's an insomniac, and she takes melatonin at night. So, to start off with, when you do the wake back to bed uh, technique, it involves waking up earlier than you would normally wake up. So say if you would normally wake up at 6, to do the wake back to bed, you would then wake up at 4 a.m., go back to sleep, and then wake up again whenever you would naturally wake up in the morning. So the way this looks practically is, let's say you wake up at 8 normally. To do the wake back to bed, you'll wake up at 6. So, and, and then obviously go back to sleep. So in that sense, yes, you will be more tired because you're interrupting your sleep pattern. Okay, I mean, I'm sure you've experienced this yourself, guys, when you wake up in the morning and you find you can't go back to sleep. So you just sort of stay in that half awake state and then the whole day you're just tired. Um, or maybe you've been interrupted in the middle of the night and then that way you feel tired the next day. It's just, it's a very natural and common thing. Um, but unfortunately, the wake back to bed technique does involve doing that. So yes, if you have a job to get up for in the morning early and you need to be alert all day the next, you know, the following day, Maybe try a different technique. Try the mild technique or the uh, the waking juice lucid dream or even, you know, something else. There are plenty of techniques on my website, howtolucid.com. Um, so you can go ahead and check those out. So I'm going to be starting to do a, a video a day. Um, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a comment on this video or whichever video you you watch that you want to reply to. Uh, ask me a question. Um and, you know, may, even if it's just to say hi, just I, I'd like to get some feedback from you guys so I know where to go with the future of this YouTube channel. Uh, do you want to see whiteboard videos? You know, whatever the case may be. So leave some feedback. Give this a like if you enjoyed it. And um, also let me know if you'd prefer longer or shorter videos. OK, uh, so, yeah, I hope that makes sense. And I'll see you next time.